Hi, my name is Paul from Physical Tie, and today we're going to look at a transformer problem. And in this case, we're dealing with a transformer that you're probably familiar with, like a laptop charger. So we have an input voltage that is high and an output voltage that is low. Now, in this case, let's write down the information and let's also do that in a dry grammatic way. Now, the way we often draw a transformer is a bit like a coil like this on one side. We have two lines here and then we have our second coil over here and I'll actually try to make it less. It doesn't really matter. It's just a diagram. But we're told that we have an input voltage here of 240 volts. We also provided another bit of information and we're told that the power rating is equal to 27 watts. In the other side, we're told that the voltage on this side is 8.4 volts. And we're also told that the current, the maximum current here is 1.2 amps. And then we're asked, well, what's the turn ratio and how much energy is lost in this particular situation? Well, the turn ratio is fairly straightforward. This clearly, starting from a high voltage to a lower voltage, is a step down transformer, which basically says that the voltage between the secondary and the primary is the same ratio as the number of turns in the secondary over the primary. And so since this value here is known, which is 240 divided by 8.4, that allows us to work out the turn ratio. Now the turn ratio, just so matters, happens to be, at least in terms of a fractional for form, as 200 to seven. That means for every 200 turns in the primary coil, we have only seven turns in the secondary coil. It doesn't have to be 200 turns. It could be 400, it could be any, you know, as long as it's consistent with this ratio. Now, the second part of the question says, well, how much is any is, is lost? A transformer here that is consistent with the conservation of energy so that the power input should ideally be equal to the power output. So in other words, if I work out the power here, which is actually I'm given in this case, and I work out the power here, I should get exactly the same value, but I don't. It should be either the same in an ideal transformer, there's no energy loss in other transformations, or in a non-ideal transformer, which is actually true in real life, is that you're gonna have some energy loss through to heat, and a lot of it happens basically due to the heating of the wires, and particularly through eddy currents that occurs in the iron core, which is important for what we call flux linkage, which ensures maximum rate of change of flux in the secondary coil. And so they laminate that to reduce eddy currents, but it's not ideal. In other words, it doesn't totally remove energy loss, and so we're interested in that amount. So all we need to do to work that out is, well, we say got 27 watts on this side, which is 27 joules per second, and we need to work out what is the power on that side. Well, that's pretty straightforward because power is equal to VI, and we are given both values. So at the maximum current rating, what we have is 8.4 multiplied by 1.2, and that gives us a value of 10.08 watts. Now you'll see that there is quite a significant difference, but at the least it's consistent with the conservation of energy. That is, this number has to be either the same or less if we have energy loss. So now our total energy loss is simply going to be our difference, which is 27 minus my 10.08, and that's going to give me a grain total of 19.92 watts. So that's the amount of energy lost per second, or joules per second, in this particular transformer. And that's why your transformers that you charge your laptops and your devices with gets warm. Anyway, I hope that has helped you understand the transformer. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care. Bye.